Welcome to the annual San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo Parade with your hosts, Carolyn McEnroe, Lisette Hernandez, and Joey Henderson. Sponsored by Trans-Texas Southwest Credit Union. Good morning and welcome to downtown San Angelo. I'm Carolyn McEnroe with KLST. It's time for the annual San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo Parade. Hi, good morning. I'm Lisette Hernandez with KSAN News. And we have Joey Henderson again with us this year, past president of the San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo Association. How are you doing? Good morning. Nice to see you. Nice weather. Thank goodness. It's a beautiful day. It's warm and it's just a beautiful day to kick off rodeo. Not a cloud in the sky. We're at the corner of Oaks and Concho and there are hundreds of people who have lined yep. up to watch with lots of strollers. Everybody has a nice thick coat or blanket around them this morning too. You bet. Oh yes. <laughs> and it's, it's so nice to be out here on a pretty day. We've had so many frog stranglers and <laughs> cold mornings and ice and everything else. Yes. It's, it's nice to get a break. And for everybody involved in the parade, too, we have lots of floats and local bands and marching groups and all kinds of things. And as we look down Concho, we can see that they've already started and they will be here in just a couple of minutes. Let's talk about what's going on at the fairgrounds today. This is the first, the, let's see, we'll have the third and fourth performances of the rodeo out of the Foster Communication Coliseum. Yes. To, uh, this afternoon at 1 o'clock, there's a matinee performance and then tonight again at 7.30, there's another performance of the rodeo. Uh, there's also, if you want to go out today, they're having the cook-off. Oh. oh, is this so, barbecue cook-off oh, day? Yes, what are they going to be making out there? And, uh, and I believe that uh, you can go out there and wander around and sample some of the barbecue. And uh, if you'll leave some tips out there for them, the, they're <laughs> gathering the tips up to donate scholarships for kids. So. And you can get just about everything. They barbecue really? pretty much anything oh, they yes. can barbecue. And well, I, I, last night I could smell a lot of it. It was sure smelling good. So. They worked overnight. Oh, yeah. This isn't y'all's first rodeo. What's something that y'all love to, uh, to sample out there? What would be your favorite? <sighs> have you ever had one of those huge turkey drumsticks? You know I never have. <laughs> that or I've, the, I've uh, seen a lot of them, but I've never tried one. I've, the other thing is those fried, what are they called? The fried dough. It's a big plate yes. of fried dough with powdered cakes. sugar. Yes. <sighs> You have to get those. Yes, yeah. yes, there. it's just yeah. part of the deal. We're looking again down Concho Street. The parade is just about here. We're, again, we're at the corner of Oaks and Concho, and this is San Angelo's Police Department. Color Guard followed, following them. Of course, we always have our parades in San Angelo led by the San Angelo Motorcycle Police Officers. Okay, so this is um, Sergeant Kennedy's tribute bike. We actually did a story about this a few months ago. His bike was auctioned off in 2009. And uh, they actually found the bike in Colorado, and they purchased it back, and it was restored. And now it's a memorial bike in tribute to Sergeant Kennedy. Have that here. And you look at how they've changed. These are the guys on the new modern ones, how they've changed over right. the years in San Angelo from a lot bigger, faster models. But it's so special, and I know that they're happy to have that here this morning. Sergeant Corby Kennedy tribute bike. Right. Leading our San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo Parade, followed by the color guard, San Angelo Police Department color guard. That's all for Sir Blisma on Corby Kennedy's motorcycle, by the way. Good morning. San Angelo Police Department flag, the state of Texas, and the flag of the United States as they make the turn here at Concho and Oaks. Also, today's a great day. Don't forget the all-new carnival we've got going on out there. All-new rides, all, a whole Bigger, new carnival. more people. Um, you know, that's yes, it's going to be a great day to get out there and check out all the rides. And here we go. Here's Officer Blisma. San Angelo Fort Concho is a big part of everything that happens in town. It's just a couple of blocks down the street. Fort Concho Infantry and Cavalry are taking part in our parade this morning. Director Bob Bluthard is here. San Angelo City Council members are also here. We have lots of them riding on that float. <laughs> Tommy uh, Herbert, Tom Thompson, Harry Thomas, Lucy Gonzalez, Lane Carter, Billy DeWitt, Daniel Venezuela, and Brenny, Brenda Gunter. Mayor Brenda Gunter, good morning. Lane Carter, Billy DeWitt, Daniel Venezuela, our city manager. Tradition that they always lead off our parade. We have several Sons of Confederate Veterans groups today from all over the state of Texas. This is the West Texas Brigade.
One of the groups we have, too, is the Sons of Confederate Veterans for the Tom Green County Camp, 1613. We're going to see some 1800s artillery on one of these floats as they go by today. They're dressed in period costume. The Sons of Confederate Veterans, uh, Tom Green Camp, 1613, filled with lots of flags. <laughs> They have a number of different flags on there, too. If you look, they've, some of them have some of the original United States flags, some of from the Texas-Mexico Wars, a lot, of, a lot of history there through the years. There's Camp 18, 1983. <laughs> Talking about, oh, there's the cannon. There we go. Um, oh, wow. I didn't know. Oh, it looks like they're barbecued something. Oh, no. I was just cannon. about to say the same thing. It does. I wonder if they have something cooking in there. I guess you could. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Here come the San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo Ambassadors. We've been watching them. You get to see them at the rodeo performances every afternoon or evening. Susanna Mann is the captain this year. She's incredible. a junior at Cristobal High School. Beautiful horses. Anayla Carbajal also. She was uh, in charge of the American flag at the performance last night. She's a co-captain. Kennedy King, Kelly Murray, and Savannah Sexton, also members. And they do a lot throughout the year, too. They don't, we don't just get to see them during the rodeo. Ram Rodeo, guys. Representative riding in the back of the pickup. Holding on? Yeah, holding on for <laughs> dear life. Here we have the Vietnam Veterans of America, Chapter 457. Hello to our Concho Valley Vietnam veterans. Hello, we get to see them in the uh, Veterans Day parade. Oh, Take a look at this. I H -E love this. It's the H-E-B grocery basket. Oh, I love oh, that. Look at it. I can't tell who's driving. I can't <laughs> see who that is. Good morning. They do so much for the San Angelo Rodeo. They sponsor the calf scramble. They're a big part of the premium sale every year. We thank them for everything they do. And we have the Rust United um, from Grape Creek, the Volunteer Fire Department. We have two fire trucks and Sparky the Fire Dog. There's Sparky right there. <laughs> we are really blessed to have a lot of fantastic volunteer fire yes. departments in the area. We have a couple of nice trucks, too. Oh, that's a very nice truck. This These one guys are just is good for any kind of brush. They could pretty much go over anything oh, yeah, they that. want to with that. <laughs> Sounds like it has a powerful engine, too. A lot of ranchers would like to have those parked out, out on the, by a barn. Nice thing to have. Here we have the San Angelo com Composite and TLCA Cadet Squadron and the Civil Air Patrol. In this group, we have uh, Lieutenant Dana Gray, Cur Lieutenant Colonel Dana Gray, Admission Officer, Becca Levesque, Major TLCA Cadet Squadron Commander, Gary Nussi, Lieutenant Colonel, and San Angelo Composite Squadron Commander. Time Clock Plus has a float in the rodeo parade today. Lots of hay bales, lots of bandanas, lots of cute young wavers, little rodeo fans as they go by. If you go to a rodeo and you watch the big time clock plus board, you see them every time you see a score in the timed events. Concho Cowboy Company, take a look at this one. It's an 1870s style stagecoach that they have conveniently set on a nice big flatbed trailer this morning. And they actually uh, won third place in the non-commercial float. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congrats, guys. Oh, these guys are armed and dangerous. <laughs> does she say, what does she say inside? I wonder what she, that says. I don't know, but they, they've got guns and they look like they're ready to use them. <laughs> Lots of antique cars and tractors in the parade this morning. Jimmy Dunham, that's a 1936 Ford V8 truck restored and owned by Jenny Dunham. And I'm guessing that it runs just like new. <laughs> Look at those white wool tires. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's got a load of grandkids. 
Here we have Johnson's Funeral Home, decorated in red, white, and blue with hay, PVC pipe with tarp as a roof. Very patriotic. Lots of fans of all ages on that float, too. Very patriotic. Miss West Texas Fair and Rodeo Queen is here. Bobby Loran is riding a beautiful white horse this morning. Yes. That rodeo is held in September every year in Abilene at the Taylor County Expo Center. Here we have the San Angelo YMCA. Oh, look at that float. I love it. The cactus, the oil, I love it. Beautiful Texas they flag. Are beautiful. There's a saguaro and a prickly pear. Wow. Here's some more bonus. Oh, this is the uh, AEP. Very important people. We love them when we have yep. electricity problems. Those are two big, huge ladder trucks. What would we do without them? <laughs> Good morning. Louis the lightning bug. That's who that was. He was leading the AEP group. Got a lot of AEP Did you notice the big transformer pole? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> they're set to go anywhere. Yeah, they're ready to do some work. Here we go. Mystery. Walt Masters, and uh, he's carrying a wooden cross for the past 21 years on highways and byways of America. He has a long way to walk. Yes, he does. We have several riding groups, and the next one won first place in the in-town riding group competition in today's parade. Congratulations. These are the Concho Chicks Rodeo Drill Team members. They started in 2012. They went a lot. They won first place in last year's rodeo parade, too. Actually, they've ridden in this parade for four years now. Travel to uh, rodeos across Texas during the summer months. Here we got our, our Diamond Miss Pageant from our Diamond Miss Saloon. Oh, my goodness. That crown. That's you a can't big miss crown. it. Look at that trailer. Good morning, ladies. Bull Capital Region Car Club. Dick and Becky Lee, George and Annabelle Duran, and Leroy Palmer. That's a 1941 Packard. Hmm. Like those red we wheels. Also, <laughs> pretty red wheels. Pfluger Herfords from Concho County. we got nine ch grandchildren riding on the floor. have lots of Pfluger members on there, including one running for Congress. <laughs> Good morning. Here we got the Contra Valley Council of Government Head Start. We have some people dressed up as pioneers on here. A chuck wagon theme. Cool. All dressed up in their cowboy gear with the little cowboy hats. Oh, these are my favorite. These are the um, uh, three generations, uh, President Alfredo Grimaldo, Jose Carbajal, and they have 17 riders. They've been in San Antonio, Dallas, New Mexico, and a few members have won buckles in different competitions, such as bull riding, bronc riding, coladero, which means tripping steers. And they have a lot of, they have a lot of rodeos around here, too, throughout yeah. the year. These are my favorite. They can do the coolest tricks ever. I, oh, he's trying to get his rope going. There he goes. There they go. And his horse. Going around a quarter. It's uh -huh. not easy. Are these girls riding side saddle? They are. Yes, four they of them are. Going around the corner. All four of them. want to remind everybody, today's ASU day at the fairgrounds. If you've got an ASU uh, ID or an ASU student, come on out. Free admission. 
Hey, so, that's a lot of people. Yeah, so all you college students, come on out. Take a look at this. It's a 30-foot hot pink school bus. Love it. <laughs> Painting Chicks Revival Boutique, the mother-daughter team. Check out those sparkly boots. Are you all seeing oh, that? Goodness. And that pink coat. <laughs> Now look at this rig here. Here we have uh, Jimmy Harris, Gina Beckham, Caitlin Beckham with a 1927 <laughs> Model T Ford pickup. Nice. Lake View Chiefettes are here. 19 of them and their two directors marching in this morning's rodeo parade. Love to bring spirit to all of Lakeview sports teams and the community through community service. So they don't just keep the crowds going during athletic games. They do a lot of other work. Here we have Twin Mountain 4-H, and they are, they have a chuck wagon, and, um... Look what they did, they put, that's a huge chuck wagon. Yeah, that is, that is huge. And a big 4-H clover. Good morning, guys. That's a great way, you just put your, tr you just put your, your, uh, wagon on the flatbed. Yep. When the, <laughs> great way to go. And <laughs> no just animals, pull it. no horses, no <laughs> wheel problems, nothing. San Angelo Association of Realtors. You sell them is the name of their sheep. The realtor sheep. <laughs> Wait, is that a... That's <laughs> a waving you sell them. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Here we have uh, B. Ramirez Roofer with Benny, Patricia, Guadalupe, Ariel Ramirez. With the 1965 Beetle Volkswagen. With a sombrero on top. Love it. Here's another car, 1968 Ford Ranger. Very bright, red and white two-door. Luis and Cassandra Ramirez. Quinta de las Pontrancas. Well, that's the Phillies, right? Three Phillies. Mm -hmm. Home of the three Phillies. That's our next riding group. With lots, are they doing their trick rope things, too? I hope so. I don't know. I can't see that far yet. <laughs> we'll see what they come up here. I need them to get a little closer. I didn't Lots bring of music, too. Into Your Boots is the theme for their, uh, their float this year. This is a rodeo cowboy. He's doing some dancing. They have about 30 riders in the parade this morning. You know, everybody has to get up so early to come to these parades. If you have horses, you have to load them into the trailer, bring oh, them yeah. to the Oh, that's a lot of work. It is. Yeah, Lenny was telling me they started unloading at 5.30 this morning, so they've been at it for a long time. And then you have to kind of wait around for a while and keep your horse quiet for a few mm -hmm. hours until it oh, starts. Yeah. And <laughs> I've seen, seen trucks coming in from all over hauling in floats. And, some we'll go over vehicles. We have a couple of other winners in the float division. Fluger Herford won first place. The Painting Chicks Revival, the big pink school bus, won second place. And the You Sell Em Realtor won third place in the commercial float competition in today's parade. And the non-commercial for the floats, the YMCA, Angelo Catholic School, and Concho Cowboy. Here comes Angelo Catholic School now. They have a shoot there on their Oh, we trailer. have a lot of uh, rodeo Some cowboys. Real, Look right, at them. competitors. We got a clown, <laughs> a barrel man there, popping in there. There you go. Very cute. Again, they won second place in the non-commercial float division this year. Oh, we got some the San Angelo Roller Girls. They're celebrating their 10th year of roller derby. Nice. That's always been the hardest thing for me to do. I don't know how they do it, but look at them. They make it look so easy. <laughs> oh, look, she just jumped over the horse poop. That was pretty <laughs> nifty. You have to watch out for manhole covers and all kinds of things. <laughs> yep. They actually have events every once in a while, too, and they invite adults and juniors to get out. They've been doing this for 10 years now. Parker County Sheriff's Posse is coming along next. There are about 20 riders in that group from around Weatherford.
You know, they've been coming to this rodeo for decades. Yes. That's they a, have. one of the longest traditions for a riding group. And they won first place in the out of town division in today's rodeo. Congratulations. <laughs> Captain is Jamie French this year. Lieutenant is Doug Leeper. Rowdy Turner, Seth Denbo. Corral boss is Troy Rogers. That's an important role. The Wrangler, another one, David Berry. And their sweetheart is Sydney Dixon. Here we have uh, Sears from Carlsbad. We have Danny Sears, Brylan Naylor, Riley Sears, Brayson Sears. And they're in a John Deere Model LA 1945 farm tractor, two cylinder. 13 HP DR Deer built engine passed down from three generations. <coughs> and it, it, it moves like normal, like brand new, actually. <laughs> now, they have improved a little bit since those days. <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's tough enough to farm on one of those nowadays. <laughs> Smooter family float. They are dressed in period clothing, old West Country clothing, from boots to hats to dresses to everything, and they have an old medicine show going. Look at that wagon with the tin roof. Snake oil. <laughs> Used to really sell that stuff, right? <laughs> oh, and he has something in a, bo in a bottle with triple X on it. Hmm. <laughs> Might be a little moonshine. Have another wagon on a flatbed trailer. This is from the Alcohol and Drug Abuse Council of the Concho Valley. You know, they just opened their New Journey Recovery Center within the last few months. Good morning. Lots of employees, Eric, and lots of other people on the foot this morning. Good morning. Here we have our ASU cheer team. We've got 32 cheerleaders. And in 2018, 2019, they were the USA Large Co-Ed National Champions. Say that again. 2018, 2019, they were the USA Large Co-Ed National Champions. Congratulations. Yeah. Let's go for number three, guys. Another antique car. This is Cecil Sankey in his 1931 Model A five window. Five Coop. window. Ford. He's part of the World Capital Region Car Club. That looks like a comfortable ride, doesn't it? I think so. Good morning. Are they waving to the camera? They are. Hi, how are you? Are you having fun? <laughs> Say yes. It's getting warmer too, isn't it? <laughs> Lots of smiling kids out they, here today. It's fun to see them. We're looking at the Great Beginnings Academy and Cassie's Kids Club coming down the street. They're carrying a big banner, kind of fighting the wind a little bit. It's a little windy. Cheerleaders. Got a few cheerleaders in there. They kind of help younger kids get ready for, if you want to try out for drill teams and be cheerleaders, oh, okay. when you get to middle school and high school, they kind of help you get going because there's a lot to learn. They start them younger and younger and younger. It's just amazing. Well, they look it more is. and more professional, too, when the time they get to... Even school. middle school, you would think they... <laughs> like, wow. I know. My granddaughter's four, and she can already work a computer better than I can. Go. Does she have a cheerleading pom-pom, too? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. There's a whole trailer logo. Deep in the heart of Texas. Here we have Ka Cassie's Place. And it uh, looks like a jailhouse in there. What it is. is. Is it? Yeah. I think there are a lot of people in there who would like to get out. <laughs> it looks like they're having a great time to me. 
Oh, we got oh, some we puppies got with hats. Oh, I love it. You Look know, they them. do such good work. They get animals that <laughs> have been in a bad situation and help get them get them oh, back to where goodness. they need to be and then help them get adopted for homes. It's so Cassie's place does a wonderful job. How why wouldn't you want to adopt a dog with a hat? <laughs> why not? You ever wonder what those dogs are thinking? <laughs> What, are, what, what, what what's going on? What are we doing? Why are, why are these people putting clothes on us and dragging 40, us around? Forty-something cowgirls are coming down the street this morning in their bright pink blouses with their horse leg wraps to match. They're part of an international group of cowgirls known as the funniest bunch of women on the planet. They came to the San Angelo State Park to ride a couple of months ago, and they just get out on their horses and have fun. They won second place in the out-of-town division in the rodeo this morning. Congratulations. Here we have coming up the Cornerstone Christian School here in San Angelo. Oh, I hear some music. Is that a way to wake you up? That's a loudspeaker. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. There we go. Crank it up, guys. <laughs> that has to be the largest trailer with the most kids on it I've seen uh -huh. today. <laughs> For sure. Did you see the cornerstone line at the very front? No, I didn't. Here we go. Team Trip Martial Arts Center, the head instructor, Master Kyle Johnson. Oh, don't want to don't mess with these kids. Demonstrating some moves. These are little ones. Yes, they are. So we have some red and white belts and some black belts. Some black belts, some green. Green belts. Look at these little guys. Better watch out. I bet they know their moves. He wants to he wants to go practice too. This little yep. guy in the audience, he's practicing his moves. That's pretty good. These are the blue bonnet oh, wow. home employees and family members with the rodeo theme with their float today. Have a couple of huge paper mache boots. See it at the front? Oh, yeah. there you go. There I they see are it. The no, I don't see paper. Yeah, okay. Blue bonnets on the boots. Loan company and tax service. Driving in a red Dodge pickup. Here we go. File your taxes. It's that time of year. Yep. <laughs> It's all Better get started. it done by a professional. I can't believe this the, is the first day of February. That January's over. I felt like January was five months and one month. I don't know if that was just me, but that was a very long month. Here's another member of the American Association of Sheriff Posses and Riding Clubs, and they've been around in San Angelo for a long time. Members of the Twin Mountain Riding Club. They've been around since 1962, promoting horsemanship, sportsmanship, and citizenship. They also compete at the club and district level and go to the finals in Texas every year. I've been doing this for over 20 years now, I think. She has her helmet on. It's probably pretty smart for a horse on pavement. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> Are some, I've never seen some horses as beautiful as these. I love looking at them. They're so... Nice. And they're all well behaved. They are. They're big. So far, so good. Gotta give them some carrots later on. All right, here we have Got Safety LLC. And Jesse in a Woody costume. Let's see, what, let's see what that's about. They provide safety courses here and then Midland, Odessa, and all the way west into New Mexico for all kinds of people who work out in oil fields and do lots of other hard jobs. Oh, 
the rope and cap on the front of that. Here come the San Angelo Central High School Texans, dressed in their traditional cowboy halftime outfits as they come around the corner. Watch this, Joey. They'll they'll be watch those lines. They'll be perfectly straight. <clears throat> We used to have to Life practice still that got for hours. It. Life still got it. Uh, there you go. They do. Smiling the whole way. Yes. Cecile Sankey and Margaret Sankey with, in, driving in a 1931 Model A5 window coupe Ford, and it's completely restored. And it's a beautiful. Looks very nice. Cecil won first place, and he's holding his uh, he's holding his certificate. <laughs> Congratulations, Cecil. That was the antique vehicle division. Here's another group uh -oh. that teaches students all kinds of martial skills. Somebody San Angelo MMA. <laughs> oh. They got a ring and a tractor. And boxing, a too. Boxing, boxing ring. ring. Lots of little young boxers. <laughs> The junior and senior elite prep dance teams are on their way down right now. Look at them go. Boy, those are glittery outfits. <laughs> Is this a mom, the support mom with the wagon coming around the corner? <laughs> oh, no, that's their, that's their leader. Hi. <laughs> it's their instructor. Hi, Maya. Here comes the Santa Fe Trail Riders. Well, they've had a long week. Yes, they have. What is it, five days? Yes, they went to 21 different ranches. They started a little more than a week ago in Colorado City. This is a, this a must long, be their last hurrah. Long time event for the San Angelo Stock Show and Radio. They actually spent the night at Fort Concha. They came into San Angelo the day before. There's Charlie Trail boss Bowers. Charlie Bowers got them all back safely. <laughs> Did it again. <laughs> you know, he was telling me people come from all over the country with yes. their wagons and with their horses to ride in this because you don't go down the highway, you actually go across West Texas ranches, yeah, which is real, nobody actually has the ride the trail. To do that. Wow. Right, like you really like they really used to do it. Mm -hmm. Isn't this a pretty team? Oh, my favorite. That's a real live wagon. Real live wagon. Uh -huh. thing. Those are actually a lot of them. And those are authentic wooden wheels. Some yes. of them was set. You'll notice, you know that they go to lots of parades and travel a lot uh -huh. when you see the car tire wheels mm -hmm. on them when they come around okay. the corner. No, but these are the real deal. Morning. Pretty big draft horse, and I think uh -huh. it's a first-round can't tell. Lots of different size teams. Uh oh. Couple of mules. These two mules have. I see the tires gear. on this wagon. That okay, yes, yeah, now ride. I can see it. Yep. <laughs> and it's got suspension. And they have comfortable seats too. Did you see that? Very comfortable. Oh yeah, they got. They got it made that in there. Looks is that a big speaker? That must be the music wagon. <laughs> Some more, several more mule teams. Good morning. <coughs> Do you see the dog? Yes, I saw. There's. I, I feel like each one has a dog. There we go. <laughs> he looked over. Good there's night. a barbecue there's grill on the back of that one. Oh, they're set. They are set. There's a comfortable look at those seats. Very smart. Yeah. Look least. at these two. So this little mini barbecue thing, I guess, is traditional now. They all have. They them. all have. Up oh, another dog. These folks are serious. <laughs> look, that dog has a little hole to stick his head in. <laughs> you know, and they had nice weather this year too, which is good. We didn't have any really, really cold nights. Or rain, so that makes it better mm -hmm. too. A you know, it's a lot of, of work, too. Every night you have to put your animal back and feed them and take care of them and then feed yourself. And Yeah, you're not going to do all that. Good morning. 
Morning. While we're at it, we'll mention the wagon winners in the non-commercial division. Frank Burkall, Jim Rock, and Danny Schlittis all won in the non-commercial. And the commercial was Junior Martinez, Larry Griffith, and James Franklin. Another year of the Santa Fe Trail Ride. Mm -hmm. Here we have Performant, um, the nice trailer what we got back there. Another local business taking part in the parade, and look at that dog. He looks really comfortable, and he has his cowboy hat. hat on. What's up with the dogs with the hats? I love it. <laughs> and San Angelo Cowboy Church is approaching here. They have hay bales and ropes. And a big spur on the top. That's a great look at I love it. Look at that giant spur, Joey. San Angelo Cowboy Church Freedom Riders are coming along with their wagon this morning. Fourteen riders perform at various events across the Concho Valley. It's nice to have them in the parade this morning. Pretty chaps. Yes, I do like those glittery chaps. You have to hold your rein in one hand and wave with the other. Yep. That's, that's kind of hard. I give them props. Here's a little bitty rider. I'd say he's probably the youngest one we've seen uh, yet. I think so, too. And he's waving. <laughs> yeah, he's riding okay. good. Yeah, he's yeah. like, come on, let's go. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> there is a future rodeo star. The Lincoln and Lakeview cheerleaders are coming down the road. We can see them. This is the San Angelo Junior Rodeo Clown Princesses. Oh, I love it. Oh, my goodness. Look at the pink hats. The pink cowboy hats and Black all the hats. other cowboy hats. They're ready oh, to go. Look at those girls. All part of the San Angelo Cowboy Church entry. have the lovely Lincoln and Lakeview cheerleaders. Lincoln captains Caitlin Herrera, Ava Velez, Dakota Turner, and the Lakeview captains Tito Rivera and Taylor Savoy. Oh, and they're wearing boots with their cheerleading outfits. And they have their own group photographer too, I see, going in front of them. And support group. There's yes. another support group. Have you noticed yep. all these, these cheerleader groups have somebody pulling a wagon? You have to. <laughs> wonder what they have in there. I don't know. Here we have a speaker. <laughs> We're going to look as she goes by. I think it's a speaker. Oh, yeah. She's got a little speaker. A little... Oh. <laughs> Even the support group has two people. Three people. Oh, my favorite, favorite. Kona Ice. Kona Ice of San Angelo. Here we have Carlos Rodriguez, Sierra Rodriguez, Chelsea Rodriguez. I know it's kind of cold, but you guys, those are really good. So you might as well just go get one. What's the funny, wildest flavor you've ever had? I always get, I'm boring. I love Tiger's Blood. It's just my favorite. And they have the best. This is a 1961 <laughs> Ford Mayberry. <laughs> See it? Ellison yep. Motors Sierra coming along. Sierra Blanca <laughs> Tow truck. They've come from a ways. Hudspeth County. That That's about like, as far west as you can get in Texas. That looks like Andy Griffith's car. <laughs> it is. There was a 1960 Ford paddy wagon and 1951 tow truck, too. Better watch out. I bet that car can go fast. <laughs> He's revving his engine. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is an oldie. Here we have uh, Candela Roofing Corporation coming down the street right now in a trailer. Sitting on hay bales. They have cow spotted balloons. That's the first time I've ever seen I was going to say I've never seen those before. I wonder where you get those. Probably Amazon. What you what get your cow spotted balloons? Can you? <laughs> I've never seen those. Carolyn's like, I think I want some. 
perfect for a rodeo float. They're followed by members of the Tom Green County 4-H Horse Club, another longtime group that we've seen in the San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo Parade, and they won third place in the in-town riding group competition today. They are also past winners of this rodeo at parade and parades in Ballinger. They do horse judging competitions and take part in a number of events. Our uh, San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo Ambassador Captain is the president this year of the Tongue Road County 4-H Horse Club, Susanna Mann. She's a busy young lady. I bet. Joey, did you get to watch the calf scramble last night? No, I didn't catch the calf scramble. It's I was, so fun to watch. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, it is hilarious. I was those, talk those with some, talking with some organizers. You know, you have to be an FFA member or 4-H member uh -huh. to do it. And a lot of these kids have grow up, you know, showing animals, but then some of them don't. Whether they're, you know, but they are still eligible to enter, and they just practice and they learn. <laughs> and sometimes they do it. I love watching those. Those are those are funny. <clears throat> there has been a lot of comedic moments involved oh in that calf scramble. What really tickles me is what sometimes the little girls that get out there that you don't think have a chance. Are the and first those are always the first ones. Line. Yep. Yep. There. The winner, <laughs> the winner, the top winner out of the finals gets a $2,000 scholarship. Oh, yeah. oh, and mutton busting winner last night is a student from St. Luke, too. Mm -hmm. So congratulations to them. This is a real antique engine. It's 100 years old this year. Wow. Oh my Fairbanks Morris oil engine. Built in 1920. Looks like it could still work. It's, it's hard to believe. The I think technology. it's kept up well. <laughs> uh oh, here we have some more. Uh oh, they don't have a, they don't have a wagon following me. Here's the Fort Contro Spirit Squad. They have a third, fourth, and fifth graders, and they perform at pep rallies, ASU football, and basketball games, as well as central basketball games. They get the crowd hyped up. Here we have the Charos de Rancho Cabrera. Who we have here? The Sweetheart Serenity Cabrera, and with pra accompanied with President Daniel Cabrera. And in 2019, they were the third place in town group riding. 2018, third place in in town riding we also have help. mariachis in the back of the truck oh you have to I, I love it speaker <laughs> and they are from here in San Angelo oh Lots and lots of riders. Oh, yeah. All right, the McCoy's Building Supply is coming down the road now with a giant vehicle <clears throat> and a big, powerful truck. Looks like they've got a deer feeder in the back of it. Is that what it is? Yeah. I can't, I can't make out what it is. That's what you need to pull a big truck. Take a look at that. <laughs> oh, they've got some cattle chutes and various other things back there. Preferred chutes. And Squeeze chute and a feeder. No. Table and Is that one of those automatic feeders that goes off and scares your horse when you're going by? Or just no, no, that's, a, that's, what, that's just a okay. gravity flow feeder. It don't won't scare them. It's not on the timer? <laughs> it, yeah, it's just... It just flows feed out, and they just eat when they want to. I have another ranch group. This is the T9C ranch group from El Dorado. Jim Rungi. Rodeo Clown. There we go. San Angelo Rodeo Clown Wagon. Lots of little aspiring barrel men in there and girls. Oh, who do we have here? Behind the clown truck. That's great. KLSTK Sand Truck. Hi. <laughs> hey guys, very familiar faces. Rachel and Chris and Ryan and Jalen and Kristen and Amanda and Aaron Jayden and, and Aaron. there's Mason getting promotion video as always. There we go. I think oh, we Shelby have Mark and uh, Victor in there. Oh, there they are. Hi, morning, Mark.
here we have the Contra Pearl Dance Team. Special, special interest group troop for St. Angelo Girl Scouts. And this is a prep class for high school drill teams. This is another one of those groups that gets kids ready. <laughs> yep, for tryouts and to make the team. You can see down at the end of Concha Street those beautiful six white horses. In fact, we saw their big, huge horse trailer going by about an hour and a half ago. They literally just got here about 20 minutes before the parade started. From but Hardin these Simmons, right? are the traditional Abilene Hardin Simmons six white horses, and they have been around for almost 100 years, 90 years since the 1930s. White horses of Hardin Simmons University appear at parades and rodeos and school events, not only across the state of Texas, but across the United States. Wow. To the tune of about 100 appearances a year. Uh, 100 a year. So those horses are busy. And, look, and in good so shape. Behaved. Watch them in perfect formation as they come down the street. Uh huh. Carrying three Texas flags and three United States flags. Perfectly lined up. Perfect. Beautiful turn. So Very nice to see them. Right. Here we have the Ambleside School of San Angelo. I think we have some more rodeo clowns back there, actually. Let's see. Oh, some They're guitar gonna players. Oh, there we go. There's, there's Willie Nelson. Oh, I see <laughs> Willie. It's Willie in person. Now, is that Chris Christopherson or, oh, there's, is that uh, Johnny Cash? See Johnny Cash? There's Dolly. Dressed up like famous country musicians. And here's the ever popular uh, Pooper Scoopers. You know what? I will admit, at one time, I was a pooper scooper. Yes, and I loved it. I was in a parade, and I Here had the best come. time ever. Here they come. Well, these guys are a key part of the parade. Yep. <laughs> I didn't drive in one of those. I just had a shovel. Good morning. They're not waving, though. No. They're no. paying attention to what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing a good job, though. Welcome back to the stage. We have the uh, San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo Association Robotics Chairman here with us, Lenny Cristo. Nice to have you with us. Well, thank you for having me out here. It's a beautiful day out here. Did you enjoy the parade? Oh, thoroughly, especially the riding groups. It's great seeing them and seeing them come out early in the morning and get ready and just display and give a great show to the spectators out here. What's really great, though, is what people don't realize is this is one of the free events that we have with the Stocks from Rodeo, so we can have great community engagement out here. It's a really, really outstanding event. So much else going on at Foster Community Coliseum that to, at the fairgrounds this weekend. We'll talk about that in a second. But tell us how the robotics competition went yesterday. So what great. Uh, what was super exciting was to see uh, in the intermediate grades, uh, four through, uh, four, sorry, third through uh, fifth grade, we had the Tom Green County 4-H, which won their first championship. So that's a, a newer program. Uh, we've had the Stockshire Rodeo Junior Robotics Competition for five years, and their coach uh, was new to it. So this is her first belt buckle that she earned as a sponsor. I think she was more excited than her uh, her, her kiddos at, at winning a buckle. <laughs> so for them, it's a, it's a big deal for the kids. Uh, to kind of add context, when we started this five years ago, we had 44 teams uh, and about, you know, about 100 kids out there. Um, yesterday Yesterday, we had 100 teams, about 300 kids, and uh, countless sponsors and family members. And it was a, it was a great event to get folks out to the, the grounds that have never been out there before. Which is what, interesting. We were talking about the carnival a little bit earlier, how it's bigger and better this year. There are a lot of people who come out to the fairgrounds who don't even ever go to the rodeo, but they enjoy the carnival, and they're out for the stock show and do all of that stuff. Well, and that's one of the things that, that we're just so proud of is there's such a variety of things going on out there to, to entertain everybody. There's something for everybody. You don't have to necessarily be a rodeo fan. You don't have to be a livestock uh, shower. You don't, there's so many things. Like, for there's instance, next for week, we have the, uh, the uh, Ag Mechanics Contest, which is incredible. Monday and Tuesday, I oh, think, this yes. year, right? That those, is something. Get those kids out there, that they, the projects that they come up with, and, and I cannot 
tell you how impressive it is to see what some of these youth can make and build. And, and it's in the spur arena, oh, and you can go actually fabulous. go through and see all yeah. that stuff. And a lot of those Absolutely. kids actually sell that stuff, entrance. and they do everything. Custom design from, from <laughs> bedposts to ranch gates to yeah. farming equipment. And the neat thing about it is the kids are there, and they'll stand there and tell you about their project and actually explain how they built it and why they built it. and. And that's the cool part of it, is seeing those kids. Uh, that's the amazing part, that it's kids coming up with yes, things like that. You exactly. know what I mean? And they look oh, forward and to this. serious about it. Oh, yeah. Something. When, I, Talking, speaking of kids, who's the, come, bring, bring, these are your, the, Joey's grand. Come here, Carlo. Come granddaughter, here. is she going to come over with her pink With boots? her pink boots, well, I know. I was looking at that, too. <laughs> Money, what are you going to be doing Carlo, today? Come here. So I'm uh, excited Marley, uh, on here. Sunday to take the kids out to the Extreme Bowls. Uh, we took them yeah. out on Thursday to the oh, fairgrounds to the Mini Hertford Show. Uh, the kids got to see all the rides out there, and they're oh, like, Mommy, walking. Daddy, <laughs> you're taking us out here. We can't go and ride. So it was a big teaser for them. My, uh, my daughter, who's five years old, Caroline, who's almost five, uh, was like, I want to go on the Ferris wheel. I'm like, you know, hold on. Wait until Sunday. <laughs> so we're excited to get them out there. Uh, one of the big things this year that we have is that the magic money. So that's a new feature that we have that makes really easy to, uh, to purchase food and other type things on the on the grounds. Uh, it's a and the carnival system. too. That's that's a the really big deal. Your store. How, how does that work? So the way it is is you're issued a card and you can download an app. So if you have your kids that are going to be going out to the carnival, you can manage how much money you're going to put on their card. Like tonight. You Five dollars, you can get an ice cream, you can get a turkey leg, uh, you have $25, you can manage your money. And if uh, once that money's out, unless mom and dad put more money on there, <laughs> they are cut off. <laughs> I heard that the carnival, um, you know, where, where get, they got someone else to do it, and I heard the it's rides are bigger and better. Uh, what did you see out there? Oh, uh, one of the rides that I remember as a kid was uh, the Gravitron. It's this, like, sp uh, spinning UFO that you get thrown against the wall, and I remember oh, as a yes. kid, you go upside down. We, we have that. That's a new feature so uh, the, the 40 year old kid in me uh, is excited to see that I'm um, interested to see if my kids are brave enough to go on that so <laughs> something we'll for everyone absolutely <laughs> oh, she, she came over yeah she finally did are, she, are we gonna get to see you're gonna Come sit on, in your granddaddy's lap here look this is oh, Harlow not. and Marley hi you all thank you for joining us yes they're they're not they're going suddenly to shy but anyway suddenly right the fairgrounds yet no, they haven't been out there yet. They're, we're I'm going. pretty sure they're itching to get down there. <laughs> <laughs> ready, right. They're ready, ready, ready to move on to the next thing. Talking about the stock shows, the, mm -hmm. it's funny. I was over in the cattle barn, the new cattle barn, mm -hmm. uh, last night, and it was completely empty. The mini Herefords have left. What about the stock show schedule for the next few days? Well, the sheep are coming in today, and so I think the sheep show starts yeah. tomorrow. Uh, not, there's going to be stock shows going on all, all for the next couple of weeks. You know, we have the, all the cattle and the, the swine. 13, I believe it's like 13,000 Thir entries over, this year. Over 13,000 13, junior entries. And then we will finish it off on the last Saturday with the premium sale. And I would venture to guess that we're going to hit a million dollars this well, year. Well, it was close to it last year. Yeah, it's it been very And close. it's been every year it's been going and up. And it's incredible the support this community, the businesses in this community have for the premium sale. And it just keeps growing. And, uh, you know, for it's just incredible. It's, it is. It's, it is. The, <laughs> it's something to see. And now this 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 show is one that everybody wants to come to. Well, you know, I was interviewing one of the competitors a couple of nights ago who has been to the NFR. I think it was Ty Harris actually from around here. Uh, was saying that I asked him compared to this radio compared to the NFR uh, in the arena in Las Vegas, what it's like, and he said it's really just as electric here. Oh, that, it's, that it's oh. as intense, and I think part of that is you have, if you have family members here too, but, but it's along those lines where we have the same kind of talent. People and, and the fans around here mm -hmm. really know what they're talking exactly. about and know what yes. they're seeing. People don't realize that San Angelo does have uh, the talent that we have here is NFR. Most of they the go. Cowboys that we have in this rodeo our NFR qualifiers and ch world champions. I've seen that, I yeah. Mean, it's and that was Thursday night, the first yeah. performance. We had two world champions, and you're, where else does that happen other yeah. than San Angelo? San Angelo, of course. And I, I really want to stress, like, when our, our fans know rodeo, they're not here for a concert. They're yeah. here to watch the athletes <laughs> compete. And it moves fast, too. You can't look away. You can't do yeah. anything. You yeah. <laughs> have to see what's it's, going on. It's a fast-paced 
good. Uh, oh, it's just incredible. We've got a lot to be proud of. Here. Speaking of that, let's talk about your wife, Morgan May Christo, who is a, has a beautiful voice, and we'll get to hear her sing the national anthem. Yeah, absolutely. So my wife will be uh, singing the national anthem during the short go, uh, which we call the champion the championship that'll be a Friday a couple uh, weeks from now uh, however uh, one of the things this year that made it even more special was I had Morgan out as one of the judges at the, the, at the junior robotics competition so she's like hon what have you been doing these last five years so I'm like well hon you know the kids are old enough now they're in school why don't you come out so I had my wife and my sister-in-law so they both got to experience that additionally my brother-in-law was out here uh, running the parade committee so it really is a, a family endeavor um, one of the things I was talking about before is uh, we're uh, not only do we have Morgan singing the national anthem, we have Tammy Merwin who's singing the national anthem at the Cinch Shootout. So it's pretty, I got uh, sci science gals and great singers. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> you know, for the first time in a long time, we had the Extreme Bulls coming on Sunday, too, mm -hmm. which is a lot of people are really excited about. And oh, yeah. The bull rider I talked to last night mm -hmm. said he was going to be around for that. The, last, the first two performances, only one contestant has stayed on those bulls in the last two nights. Well, actually, we have two, one each night, mm -hmm. and the rest of them, nobody made it for eight seconds. I think that's why that's everyone's favorite event. Like Is it? The extreme. Oh, yeah, I know. That's my favorite event, seeing those. It's I mean, scary, but fun. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. I think Absolutely. it's pretty amazing. One thing I want to say is, please, go. There's tickets available. There's several performances. I think the only two performances that are absolutely sold out are the the cinch shit out in the finals on uh, of the short go. Let's Everything go, else, I believe. Go over the schedule. There's a matinee tonight, today. Today and then tonight there's a performance. Tomorrow there is the bull riding, and then next week I believe it starts Friday. on Friday. Friday, Saturday. Saturday. Two performances on Saturday, Friday and, evening. And, and then, then sun, there's a Sunday afternoon matinee, 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 and, and then, then the next week. Next week, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night. So. Plenty, There's plenty. There's a lot of rodeo left. We just, we just started. Yes. We have a lot to yeah, go. There's a lot to go. A lot of opportunities. And go out and visit the vendors out in the, the pavilion out at the. There's that, and then the creative. Creative arts. arts is that yes. Where arena? Yes. We're watching that. You can't see it because it's behind mm -hmm. our cameraman, but we're watching the entire Santa Fe Trail raid, ra ride. You know, they went amazing. all the way around downtown San Angelo, and they're coming back that around to go back to uh, Fort Concha where they spent the night. It's nice to get to see them again, all those wagons. Absolutely. Still a lot of wagons. <laughs> so one of the things I really want to stress what makes our Stock Show Rodeo amazing is we have over 60 committees that make this happen. I just happen to be the superintendent of one of them. But the biggest piece that makes it all come together is the, the thousands of volunteers throughout San Angelo. Uh, one of the big things, you can't truly enjoy the rodeo until you volunteer and be on a committee. And it's open to anybody that's, that's interested in it. Uh, contact the front office. Brenda will get you fixed up. Uh, interests vary from the spectrum from science and technology to breeding of animals and everything in between. Well, you know, as exactly. past president, Joey knows all about that, and this is one of the few rodeos in the entire country that is still put together, not with the hired organizer, but by volunteers yes. completely. Mm -hmm. Well, we do have a paid staff that works their tails off. <laughs> uh, they, for we have a, ver, For the size and scope of our event, we have a very small staff that does a tremendous amount of work, but we, is, but they do rely on a, over a thousand volunteers thousand. that come yeah. together. You and know, it's, and it's and it's really an honor. Mm -hmm. A lot of these people will take mm -hmm. off vacation time from sure. work. Sure, you do bet, it. you bet. And it's a real community yeah. event, and it's the most important event to the city of San Angelo from an economic standpoint. It, impact, it, economic impact. Oh, you do hotels it's, and it's, restaurants, restaurants and shopping, and, and, and it's a lot of fun. It is. What? It's and it's a lot of it fun. is a lot of fun. <laughs> it is fun, and it's great, and it's something that we can all be proud of. Is San Angelo. So a lot of things to do. You can go out to the fairgrounds. You have always the rodeo is the, traditionally the first weekend of the rodeo run. So that's why we always have the parade parade on the first Saturday. But you have this weekend and next weekend, and then the following weekend to enjoy everything. Carnival usually opens at well, it depends on whether in the today. day. Twelve, 12. today. Mm -hmm. And you can find all that stuff on the on the San Angelo Stock Show yes, Radio website, yes, too. Exactly. The complete schedule of everything. Well, Joey, Lanny, Lissette, thank you so much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure for joining us for the annual San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo Parade. Right. Thank you for watching the annual San Angelo Stock Show and Rodeo Parade. Sponsored by Trans-Texas Southwest Credit Union.